Hi, my name is Bella Gray. This is my video response for the third grade, wise words of the third grade dropout. Um, so for the first lesson, it was if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Um, I think with that kind of mentality, you kind of just have to tell yourself that you don't don't get it into your mind that you know you can't do something because then you won't be able to do it. Like you are just dead set, headstrong on the fact that you can't do something when in all reality you can. You just have to put that work in. And um, you know, it's along with that. It was there was, you are what you rep repeatedly do, um, and he said so. Excellent, excellence should be a habit, not an act. Um, I agree with that. Um, you know, if you if you're a successful person, you know, an excellent worker, I guess. Um, you know, it's it's a habit. You know, it's not just it's 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 because that's what you are. That's who you are. That's how you work. So people know you for that. Um, and that's what you are because you were repeatedly doing it you're you know you're showing signs it's not just like a, a facade that you're putting on for one day and then the next you know you kind of let it all go um you know it's it's who you truly are and it should be a habit not an act um like i said um or he said i guess uh the second one was make sure your servant's towel is bigger than your ego um <laughs> i kind of felt that one a little bit um the pride he said pride is the burden of a foolish person. I agree with that. Um, I struggle with that myself all the time. Um, I'm very, very prideful, um, personally, and I have, sometimes I do have a bigger ego, <laughs> and I put myself on a higher pedestal um, against other people in my mind, um, and I, I don't know why I do that. I think um, part of it might be, you know, to uh, build that strong, you know, outer layer so that if, you know, someone hurts my feelings, you know, I'm, I'm not letting it show. I'm not letting them know that it's getting to me, even though it got to me. Um, so I, I tend to put on that stronger, you know, um, armor, even though really deep down inside, I'm just a softie. Um, <laughs> and sometimes I do let my, uh, my pride get the best of me. Um, because I do compare myself a lot, I judge a lot, um, as, you know, whenever I'm, you know, just staring at someone, or just looking at them, you know, it's, it's not, it's not that I'm thinking, it's, it is because I'm judging them, um, and, uh, I just, I'm, I don't know how, how to get myself to stop doing that, um, because it is a bad habit of mine to just constantly just, you know, judge people, but it's, you know, sometimes I, I'll, I'll notice it in myself, and I'm like, okay, Bella, you know, quit doing that, you know, you're not, you're not better than anybody else, so quit, and I do kind of have to pull myself down from that, um, I have to, you know, uh, tell myself, you know, like, hey, like, you're not better, you know, so quit, you know, um, sometimes people have bad days, and, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be the cause of that, you really shouldn't, I, you know, I had to tell myself that all the time, too, because if I notice myself being rude to someone, I'd be like, okay, well, I don't want to be the reason why they have a bad day, you know, I don't want to help further escalate that, so I have to, you know, calm myself down a bit, you know, to make sure that, like, you know, they're doing okay, because, you know, sometimes people don't have anybody to, you know, ask them how they are. Um, the third one is, uh, or part of that second one was, if you're going to do your job, do it right, um, and along with that was tell yourself to shoot for the stars good enough isn't good enough if you can do better I also agree with that um, or not agree with that but I also uh, actively do that um, I unintentionally you know I don't want to be the worst you know at my job <laughs> and I always told myself you know like I could do so much more you know I want to I want a better you know report, you know, a uh, six-month, I guess, employee report on how I work here, you know, because all my other jobs, well, my last job, I got transferred because I wasn't, you know, doing well, and I wasn't aware of that, and so now, over here, I'm trying to go above and beyond. I'm, I'm trying to be better than what I can be. I'm trying to, you know, ask questions on how to do stuff that, you know, I could help them out with because, you know, if I can, if I can do something better, if I can help out more, then I want to. You know, um, I want to be better than, you know, what I, you know, what my average is. Um, the third one was wisdom will come from unlikely sources, often during failure. Rock bottom is a struggle, but can be a great foundation to build on. I also actively 
use that one because I'm constantly just getting myself into mistakes and so I have to like completely erase what I'm doing in my mind and be start from the beginning be like okay well, this is where I'm at this is what I did and you know, I have to build uh, backwards forwards that's how I think too I work backwards forwards so I think of the bigger picture first and then I, it's hard for me to narrow it down um, a lot of the time and so I need to like you know start from the ground bottom you know and I do make a lot of mistakes I do and I'm very aware of that and I'm trying not to but with that I do have to start at rock bottom and go back and be like okay well from all my failures I've learned so much more on like you know the more in depth into why I did what I did how to avoid it what to do next time if I did the same mistake kind of thing um, number four is just stand keep standing no matter how um, rough endurance no matter how rough slash it's kind of you know endurance it is uh, enduring something that's really difficult and don't give up no matter what um, I think that's just kind of a given um, you know and it's it's I wouldn't necessarily that's part of the wise words from a third grade dropout because you know pretty much everybody says that um, the other ones were for sure um, wise words because you don't really hear that all the time um, especially from you know dropouts but you know if you're doing anything I think that goes along with the um, if you're gonna do your job do it right you know don't give up no matter what you know continue push through it go on um, I Part of that, I have a story from when I was in track and field my 8th grade year, and I wanted to quit so bad. I was terrible, um, and my mom wouldn't let me quit. She, and I genuinely don't think I wanted to quit either. Um, but I had the high school track coach come up to me, and she was, you know, just impressed at the fact that, like, I continue to stay through it. I continue to do all of the exercises and run with everybody, even though I was always last. You know, I, it's, it's the fact that I finished it that you know gave me that accomplishment feeling you know that I just I did that like you know people think I couldn't do it I did that it took a long time but I did that um number five what matters is how you live not how long you live I I never thought about that <laughs> um I always think about oh like you know it's don't do stupid stuff you know, even if you know you're living your life to the fullest, don't do stupid stuff. It's not worth it. In the end, it's going to bite you in the butt. Um, having fun is a different thing from being stupid. And um, having fun is a part of uh, how you live, you know, and not, not a part of it shouldn't be connected to how long you live. And I think people all the time get it mixed up when they, you know, they go out and do stupid things. They're like, oh, I'm just having fun. I'm just living my life. No. No. I, I think you got the wrong idea on that. And it's good to have fun, you know, but don't, don't do anything stupid. You know, if you're going to go party and drinking, don't drive home drunk. That's stupid. But going you know, out and partying and enjoying life, that's, that's fun, you know, but don't, don't do stupid stuff like driving home drunk, but yeah, um, overall with that whole spiel, um, I never really, it never really was brought to my attention like that, uh, especially from someone like that, I wouldn't expect him to have that kind of life lessons to give out, and especially those be the most important ones he gives, um, but he, that's, uh, yeah, it really did stun me. I wasn't expecting anything, you know, I was kind of expecting the video to be overhyped, but it really wasn't. It, it definitely was something that brought a lot of attention to me and kind of just, uh, the way that I function. So, thank you.